Hi everyone, Sid here back again with another video. In this video, we're going to discuss about how you can upload files in Laravel 8 in S3 bucket. So, hope so now you get it. So, what we're going to discuss about. So, let me uh, show you example. I have already done these things. So, I'm going to show you how this is happening. Okay, so I have just selected one image. I'm going to put here. And this image is storing in the S3 bucket okay also we check it here so this is successfully done so how i have done this process so definitely i will tell you everything step by step so what things you know you know if you don't know how to install laravel definitely you know need to watch my previous video also you if you don't have any a little bit idea also i will try to explain you but you know uh, just get some information about the what is a laravel and how to install laravel you know so these things of course you need to understand how you can migrate the these these small small things of course you need to learn from the my tutorials you can watch out the previous video i have already uploaded so now so what are the step uh, you know so i have already written so i'm going to explain you what are the things so required for the you know storing image in AS, aws aws s3 record so first of all you need to create an account in aws if you don't have if you have of course you just just go in the aws and you need to put your login credential then you basically trying to log in here so finally i have put the credential so i just uh, land in the you know s3 so what are the things required first of the you need to click on the s3 bucket and uh, also if you don't have any bucket so of course you need to create like i have already created uh, reasons you can select whatever reasons you just you want to uh, you know uh, deploy so now so i have a created which is uh, you know mm, recently i have created which is a uh, you know this one and uh, now i just uploaded one week uh, date is today uh, 22 let me check So guys you can check we have image which is a uh, you know recently i have uploaded so we will get link and of course we can open in the let me click on the object here so now we, i have uploaded recently so you know ch you can check also the date you know we have the this image so we can access from the server so now uh, i have done this process so how you can create okay so you need to click on the you know bucket and also you need to click on the create bucket and here i'm not going to put you need you need to put here you know uh, your credentials whatever in bucket you want to put name so i've created uh, like a suppose any project you have so you can put the project name and uh, with bucket name something whatever you want okay so then you need to click here and just try to you know unblock this and just uh, here you know disable something and just click on the create okay so once you have done like i have already written in blog also what are the steps okay so now and so after the clicking this th those things also you need to create a one iam user okay so how you can uh, do that just to click on the search button and here you can get the information how manage iam services okay so once you click on the iam services what do you need to do you need to create a one I, I have already user one you can check this user i have okay so uh, i don't want multiple authentication things so yes i have added yeah, no, you know so here i have a cloud9 uh, user and uh, someone have i think so created the cloud and user so this uh, way we can exactly create and you know, you know we can also create the user uh, suppose i have a created user which is name in the uh, you know laravel i put it username whatever you you want you can create and also you need to give the once you whenever you're creating you need to give the permission with the amazon s3 full access so i have given this permission only you know this policy for the user one, one particular user so once you have done then what you need to do add the username with the select pro, uh, programming access also whenever you're doing this you need to add here program programmatic access so i have given already here okay so you need to s3 packet you know attach so yeah this way you can you can also this escape the process after this successfully creating the user and s3 bucket uh, bucket what you need to do you know you will get the some credentials which the access key and secret key okay so and then we have to follow the next step so this uh, process we have done you know we have we get the access and uh, secret access key okay so i'm not going to so and i'm going to some introduction about the domain register if you want to buy a domain and hosting just click on the domain this is service provider i mean which is a domain register definitely you can buy from there only and suppose you have any blog so i'm going to search here you know blog indian developer whatever you you in your mind of course you can buy from there only you know uh, if you're in india definitely you can select the INR currency whatever currency you want to pay so i'm here in india so i just selected the INR currency i'm going to search again let me search again yeah 
so now we have the multiple domains here i am going to click this one whatever domains i like okay so i just click and then now you can check the we have the view uh, view card and i just click on the share hosting because i want to hosting also i just click the personal hosting and uh, whatever hosting is suitable for you guys you can buy and this way personal suggestion i just selected again the use and just click on the continue look you get the domain and hosting only really cheapest price which is the less than i know 2100 something rupees in INR so look we are paying something 2000 we get the domain and hosting as well as so you can buy from there thank you credential so yeah definitely now what you need to do you need to run this command for you know creating a, a laravel project in your local machine then go inside of the laravel project and also for the you know package things uh, we are using the you know file system aws uh, you know this package so of course you need to install this one also you need to put the con uh, credential inside of the dot env file i have already added and also uh, this is step basically for the you know before I mean of course you need to control you know to cre create a control file so I have created controller you know the I have run this command which is touch and I have the given the name which is the image upload and then what I have added here you know we have the functions like this one and uh, we have uh, this function basically we are the you know uh, showing the uh, I mean, exact page where we are uploading so this picture basically you know this this page basically we have written the some estimable things in the blade template and also we are uploading here from the you know some validations or all we have already put it what kind of files you want to accept uh, suppose you want to access the pdf something definitely you need to put uh, you know uh, some uh, dot pdf extension you need to put here so now let me scroll here again so what we're doing here we have the getting the extension and also moving in the s3 bucket so we have put it to the code and after that what we're doing here we are storing the sessions also we, uh, you know we're getting the path and we are showing in the home page you know after the successfully picture uploaded so now again here and uh, then what you need to do you need to create a one more file for you know which i have already added here, here, here look we have a we have function and we are showing this image i mean this file basically image upload so now once you have done successfully then what you need to do just scroll down and you just put your code i have already added so you know so we have uh, adding here alert and images whatever session is storing the uh, server inside and then what you need to run this command so th after the successfully command you will get exactly answer and also sometimes you know the s3 bucket policy if you're facing any s3 bucket policy uploading images uh, but the picture showing uh, doesn't showing, uh, appearing in the website so what you need to do you need to add this statement so definitely uh, the problem will solve yeah i have already added in my bucket policy so this way and also you can get code from there only yeah i have already added in the you know github repository and also you can follow me in the github also and as well as youtube so you can get the multiple code also if you want to uh, this uh, you know video the more more descriptive way definitely just put you a uh, comment whatever you want and definitely i will create a separate video so you can also you know uh, work with me i mean simultaneously i will show you the my screen also how can you write a code those things i will also explain to you so i have done from my side if you have any questions please put in the comment box definitely i will help you thank you for watching this video